friends welcome to Ansel so today it is the 51st episode in the history series so today we are going to discuss about the origins of australia slash the history of australia so like it's called how it was colonized how it got independence and many of those things so let's start so first from 65000 years to 55000 years ago like at between at that time the first humans arrived to the continent of australia hills so yeah the first humans arrived later the europeans arrived and yeah that happened colonization so next 1606 ad so a person called william johnson discovers australia so this william johnson is is a dutch person so he is works under the dutch east indies which is just in Indonesia at that time yes so at that time he was just going south for something that is then when he finds oh yes Australia yes so at that time it was called terra incognita because no one know what it was what there there was yes so next 1627 AD so south coast of Australia is discovered so like some people go south and yeah the still it is an island so before it was discovered that australia had a south coast they thought that yeah it is connected to antarctica in even in maps it was like that yes so yeah next in 1642 ad a person called able tasman discovered tasmania and even the tasman sea so that's why they both are named after him yes so next 1770 ad so british Sir called James Cook claims some land for the UK in Australia. So this is like in the western coast. I mean the eastern coast. Yes. So first let's just draw Australia. Okay. It got a speed bump like that. Next the Cape York. And finally the island of Tasmania. So this is what Australia looks like. So first in the William Johnson just touched the cape of york and just went back while the southern coast they discovered like this they went like this next james cook just claimed lands in the eastern coast from the t- tip of cape york to some region here yes so it was not fully claimed but still claim was claimed yes so next 1788 ad so the new south wales colony was established yes so at that time it was just like sydney region yes so next in 1888 ad so it was there was the rum rebellion so at the time that one of the governor called i mean one of the governor of this new south wales colony who ruled from 1606 to i mean 1706 to 7 i mean 1806 to 1808 sorry i'm a bit confused so he just made drum like illegal outlawed so because of this they did a rebellion and yeah hey the rum rebellion happened in 1808 and then he was deposed yes the governor so next state in 25 ad so van diemen's land which is tasmania become separate from new south wales so next that by that time it already this new south wales already became like this size so then it even had this tasmania so then it got separate so at that time it was known as van diemen's land until 19 i mean 1856 not diamonds it is diamonds yes so that is the difference so next state in 29 so the swan river colony which is present there uh, western australia is established and then we should remove this border line here as well as this one and as well as this the new south wales border also is increased by this time and here is the swan river colony and here is n s w and here is vans diamond land yes so that is a simple image so next in 1836 the division of southern australia from the new south wales happens so then this happens and here is southern australia yes yeah yes another colony and next is 1844 wool accounts for half of all of the exports of this country slash the colony yes wool just wool that's lot of wool yes so next in 1851 ad so the division of victoria from new south wales happens so yeah 
it goes like this and here is victoria yes so yeah next in 1855 ad the constitution of new south wales victoria and van diemen's land get adopted by those colonies yes so at the time there were separate separate colonies not just provinces of just one large colony yes so then they get some partial autonomy over their colonies or over their land next in 1856 ad the constitution of new south wales i mean in south in southern australia is adopted so it also got some autonomy there and also van diemen's land changed its name to tasmania yes so that means here we should change this name to tasmania yes so next day 18 in 59 the division of queensland from new south wales happened and new south wales started to collapse yes collapse means it's not a con- like a country but still it was starting to collapse yes so it's like that so so here is new south wales and here is queensland yes so queensland already after it turned into separate colony it already got its own constitution slash its own autonomy would yes so next state in 90 the constitution of western australia is adopted so by this time already the swan river colony changes them to western australia and yeah they also got a bit of a a thing called autonomy yes so yeah next in 1901 ad so the commonwealth of australia get the independence so all of these provinces slash states get become separate and yeah they get the, the independence not separate but they unite to form australia as we know it today yes so, and some border changes happened internally like i did some one small mistake here but here is the northern territory and yeah this is the present day provinces and territories of the present day australia yes it's stayed like this since many years now yes so next in 1914 to 1918 it was involved in world war 1 like any proper country should be yes so next in 1929 to 1939 the great depression occurred yes so It, there's a lot of money which is like gone yes they go it is like a crisis all over the world if when it started in the us it finally even when affected the australia the uk every country got affected by the great depression yes so while in this time the emo war happened in 1933 so then uh, what happened was So first there were farmers there so like retired retired military generals so they became farmers in like western australia these southern australia in those regions so they were by themselves they were doing agriculture and those things that is when the you when the emus came and eat some of the stuff yes so at that time it was the great depression so it was a lot of bad things happening to them so that's why instead so then they wanted to do something about it but instead of going to the minister of agriculture of australia they went to the gazette the min- minister of defense so then they declared war on the emus and they humiliatedly lost yes the emus were like if the people started shooting the emus will be like oh. they will go faster than the speed of light from their view point of view yes so next in 1939 to 1945 australia was again involved in world war 2 yes so this time it was the allies in world war 1 also it was in the allied side okay next in 1979 the second oil shock which is like an oil crisis increased the inflation in the country Yes. So all the time in 1973, and oil sh- the first oil shock happened, another oil crisis. But it didn't affect the country that much. But now in 1979, it affected the inflation of the country a lot. Yes. So yeah, this is for today about the history of Australia. Bye.